Welcome everyone to this Friday's Google Hangout titled How to Stretch Your Mind and Create a Better Future. Now, why would you be concerned about stretching your mind and creating a better future? Let's talk about the stretch your mind part. Why? Let's go over this really quick before we even go on any further. No one wants to join someone with small goals. No one wants to follow a thousandaire, especially if they want to be a millionaire. If you want to create millionaires, you first have to be a millionaire. Got it? Good. Okay. Quick story about, about an example of a mind-stretching thing that happened. Okay, let me, I have to sit down for this one. I have to sit down. I have to get close. Tell you this little story. Okay, my daughter, right? She's four. Four-year-old. With our kids, what we do is we make them cereal, but we combine the sweet cereal with the non-sweet cereal. So I made them all cereal. Five kids. Oh, four kids because one is a baby. He's not eating regular food yet. So I make them all cereal. My daughter, I said, here's, here's, sweetheart, here's your cereal. She says, there's no sweet cereal in my bowl. I said, there is sweet cereal in your bowl. I poured it in your bowl. Didn't you see me? She says, no, no, there's no sweet cereal in my bowl. I said, there is sweet cereal in your bowl. So I walked over to the couch. I said, sit down, eat your cereal. You know, my man's stern voice, kind of. So she sits down on the couch. Here's what, she, here's what she does. She takes the cereal, puts it on the side of her. She goes like this on the couch and closes her eyes. At this point in time, I'm back in the kitchen making my own cereal. I look up and I see this. I say, Melody, what's wrong? She says, there's no sweet cereal in my bowl. So I said, wait, okay, okay. So, I'm, so I had to I had to digress it for a minute because I'm like, girl, if you don't eat your cereal, that's what I'm thinking. But I, and the second thought I was thinking, how could I get this four-year-old girl, my daughter, to eat her cereal? How do I get her to believe that there's sweet cereal in her bowl? Because she doesn't believe me. So I said, come here, come, come here for a second. And I told her to bring her bowl. So she brings her bowl into the kitchen. Here's what I did. I had the cereal, the cereal that I used, I had it on the counter. And I asked her, I said, could you tell me which one is the sweet cereal? Genius, right? Genius. So she points at the cereal. She says, that one. And so I grabbed the box and I pour a little bit of that cereal in her bowl. So what does she do? She puts a smile on her face. She walks over back to the couch, sits down with a smile on her face, and eats her sweet cereal and mix with not sweet cereal. So the moral of the story is her mind actually had to stretch a little bit because she didn't believe at first that there was sweet cereal in her bowl, but once she actually saw me pour it, her belief level went up and her mind stretched, which brings me into today's webinar. Transformation. All this week, you have been reading my blog posts about transformation. And excuse me if I talk a little fast because I get excited. I get passionate about this kind of stuff because I'm happy that you're, you're actually learning about transformation. And, I have a, and, and based on these inner circle audios that I have been listening to every day, every day for hours listening to these inner circle audio so that I can teach someone else how to have a transformation. Also, another thing is today I'm actually at an, at an event today. Right now as I speak, as you watch this video, I am in Charlotte, North Carolina at the biggest internet marketing event in history. And you missed it. You missed it. The, the event is sold 
out, not one single ticket. There was 2,100 seats available. They're all sold out. But don't worry. In three months, there will be another huge event, and you have got to get there. But anyway, back to the topic, transformation. Now, my eyes are going to go a little bit here and a little bit there because I take, I have notes and stuff that I look at so I can stay on track. Okay. Um, let's see. Here's a question that you might have at, that, that you might have seen on one of my previous blog posts and what you saw on the webinar page. What is transformation? What is it? Transformation, in a nutshell, is when you have a certain way of thinking, right? All your life you have had this certain way of thinking, but you hear something or you see something or you do something that completely changes the way you see that thing or view that thing, completely changes it. Your mind stretches to, 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 to heights that you didn't even imagine. For example, if you, let's say, for example, you, you, uh, you learned Chinese, Mandarin. You learned Chinese, and you didn't think you can learn it so fast. But you learned it in 60 days. Fluent Chinese, which is possible if you apply yourself. You can learn Chinese in 60 days. Nothing's impossible. Don't let anyone tell you that it is. Anything's possible. You apply yourself. So that's what transformation is. Here's another one. Here's another one. How can you have money? Another question that, that I asked in my previous blog post. How can you, for this week's topic, how can you have money just show up in your life? Hmm. Quick story. Quick story. There was a guy. I don't know if you saw this blog post or not. I think I made it a blog post. I don't remember. But there was a guy who lived in a shack. And he had these visions of how could he get... All he wanted at first was a rug, a welcome mat. All he wanted was a welcome mat. I think I did a blog about this. But I'm going to tell you a story again because it's, just, it's different when you see it on video and, I'm, and you can see me moving around and all being automated about it. But he had this mat that he didn't have in his life, but he had it in his mind. And so what he did was while he was at work, he would always be thinking about this mat. He just wanted a welcome mat because it was just a shack. But that welcome mat, that one welcome mat added Value added something to his life that he wanted. It's something that he just wanted. So he continued to work. One day he got paid. His boss was feeling extra special, extra good that day. And his boss gave him a bonus, extra money. And that bonus that his boss gave him was the exact amount he needed in order to buy that mat. But before that happened, up until that moment, he thought about it. He visioned that mat. Every day when he woke up, he thought about his welcome mat. Every day when he went to bed, he thought about his welcome mat. Every day while he was at work, he thought about having that welcome mat on his shack. And so one day, after thinking about it and believing it, he believed that this would happen. I mean, he. but how did he get up to this point where he actually started thinking like this? Well, he came across a book or an audio or something, a person, a mentor, something that happened in his life that caused him to change his thinking process. And so this mat showed up. His boss gave him that bonus because he thought about it and he believed it and it happened. So he went and he got him a mat and he put his welcome mat at his door. Then he got to thinking, hmm, hmm. If that could work for a mat, I always wanted a nice bed to sleep in. So, the, so he applied the same thing, rinse and repeat. He applied the same thing to getting a bed in his little shack. And so he applied the same technique, the same thinking, the same thing, and he had a bed show up. He got the money, he got a better job, and a bed showed up in his house. Not only did he get a better job, a few months later, he had a new house. He wasn't living in a shack anymore. Now he had a house, his own house. Why? Because he applied that principle of thinking about it, believing it, 
thinking about it and believing it, you listen to those inner circle audios or you listen to his mentor or you read that book or you went to an event and he had a transformation. And now not only did all those things start showing up in his life, but more money actually showed up in his life as well. That's how you can change your mind, change your thinking so that you can start having money show up in your life. I'll tell you a quick story. This one I have to stand up for. This is the story on how I'm going to move around a little bit, so I had to stand up. Can't just sit still all the time. It's kind of hard. I got to keep moving. This is the story of how I transformed. Okay. Here's what we have. True story. True story. When I first got in this business, it's in, when I first got in this business, there was an event coming up. And I knew I had to do whatever it took to get to that event. And that that event is where I had my transformation. At that event is where I figured out what I wanted to do for the rest of this year. At that event is where I had a clear purpose and a clear intention. And I knew exactly the direction I wanted to go. I knew exactly how to get there. And I knew exactly the steps that I needed to take in order to get there. So what I did was I went to this title it was a title loan place, a vehicle title loan, because I needed to get the money to get to Miami for the Freedom event. I went to this title place. The lady told me that I needed to do this, this, and this to get and then come back. So I didn't have my title at the time. So what I did was I went to the state or the, 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 the city building where they do car titles. I got my title. First place I went to, I stood in line. And it was the wrong place. The lady gave me the wrong information. Can you believe that? Do people actually give you the wrong information? Has that ever happened to you? Well, it happened to me if it has never happened to you. She gave me the wrong information. I went to the wrong place, stood in line, everything. So anyway, I, I find the right place. I go there. I get my title. So I go back to this lady, to this title place. Now, keep in mind that I, had went, I went to three other title places before that. So, and I was about to quit. I was about to say, nah, that's enough for today. I said, no, let me go to one more place before I call it a day. That was the place. So anyway, got late. I went back the next day to that lady, to that same place. So she says, I'll give you, oh, I forgot to tell you, the other three places said they would only give me like $300 or $500, no, $400, something like that, $400 for my vehicle. I was happy to get that because I, I could use that to get to work to Miami. Okay, so she comes out. Well, I do the paperwork, the application process, do all the paperwork. She says, I'll give you $700. So I'm like, great. She goes outside. She does the inspection on the vehicle. She comes back in and says, these words, I hate, I hate these words with a passion. I hate them because I've always heard these words all my life up until now. But she said, unfortunately, sir, we are unable to process your application at this time. So I'm thinking, hmm, okay. Thank you very much. I leave. I go to, I'm driving down the road and I say, I'm going to go check my mail. So I go to check my, my mail at the mailbox place. So I'm driving down the road and I see this other place, title loan place. And I pull in there, but it was closed. It wasn't open yet. The other place was open. This place didn't open yet. So I said, okay, by the time I go check my mail and come back, this place will be open. So I drive down the road a little bit more. I go check my mail, get back in my vehicle. I drive back up the road. About a few minutes after I started driving down the road, out the corner of my eye, I noticed the words, title loan. It's a different place, not the same place. I never made it back to that other place that I was going to go to, the place that was closed. So all of a sudden, I, and I pull up in that, in that lot. I pull up in the parking, I park in the parking space. The place was open. I go inside. I do the application process. 
The guy comes out. He inspects my van. He comes back in. He says, we'll give you $1,000 for this vehicle. Imagine my excitement. I was excited. I was about to jump out of my chair. I was literally about to jump out of my chair. Don't tell anyone. But they never knew it. I kept my poise. I kept my, I was completely in control. But let me tell you this. When I walked out of that place with that $1,000 check, happy about getting to Miami so that I could have my transformation that I did have. Oh, believe you me, I had a party in that vehicle. Me and that check had a party and we was dancing around and it was so fun. And I got to Miami, I had even more fun. $1,000 got me to Miami and back for my personal transformation. I have never seen anything like that before in my life. Never. These events, and then I went to the to the impact event in, in New Orleans, Louisiana. That was also another powerful event. I had another transformation. Blew my mind. I learned some things there that I will be able to create a whole entire training suite out of if I wanted to and sell it on the internet. But I'm not going to do that. There's some other I have some other plans. Look, get to the event. Get to the next event. Coming up in September, June, July, June, July, August, September. Next event will probably probably be coming up in September. You have to get there. Do whatever it takes to get there. Do whatever you have to do. Get to that event. If you want to change your life, your business, you want to take your business to levels and heights you never knew existed, get to that event, our next event. Don't miss it. Don't wait till the last minute and wait till the tickets are all sold out. And then go try to get to the event, buy your ticket. It won't happen. It'll be sold out. Keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. Why did I do this week? Let me sit down. That story's over. Keep this in mind. This week, why did I do a topic about transformation? I mean, I could do a, I could do a training about getting leads on the internet or content marketing or video marketing or how to make compelling videos or anything. How to do it. YouTube SEO, how to get your video to rank number one. I could have done any of those series of videos, but the reason why I chose to do this transformation is because no one wants to join someone that has a small dream. If you're think of McDonald's for example, McDonald's anybody can make a better burger than McDonald's. You at your house can go buy some beef, some lettuce, some mayonnaise, whatever condiment you want, and buy make a better burger than McDonald's, right? But here's the thing about McDonald's. Ray Kroc, he said he he not he he didn't only say I was going to make burgers. He said, I was going to make burgers and put a burger stand on every corner in the world. That's the model of McDonald's. That was his I, that was his dream, his vision. He said, I'm going to put a burger stand on every single corner in the world. Guess what? There is a McDonald's on almost every freeway exit in the United States. Almost every Everywhere around the globe. You can go in China, Japan, UK. You can probably go somewhere in Tibet and find a McDonald's on a cart. Even if it's just a cart. A McDonald's cart. So no one wants to join people with a small vision, a small dream. Myself personally, let me say this right now. I will create... Over $100,000 within the next 90 days. That's July, August, September. By September, by the next event, I will create $100,000. I will be on stage speaking. I will be on inner circle calls. I will create $100,000 within the next 30 days. My children are going to have such a huge house to grow up in. 
a ginormous house. Big visions, big dreams, big plans. That's what people want to follow. And if you don't have that right mindset, if you don't haven't had those, those transformations, whenever you experience downturns or problems or issues in your business, maybe your team's not growing as fast as you, as you want it to. Maybe your team is dropping out like flies left and right and you can't keep people on your team. Or maybe, maybe there's something going on within you. And you don't know how to get through or get past that. Or maybe you're stuck at a certain income level and you have no idea how to get breakthrough and past that income. Maybe you're stuck at $20,000 a month, $30,000, $5,000 per month in your current business. That's the beauty of getting to the events. It doesn't matter what business you're in. You can have a transformation, a personal transformation where you can break through Wherever you're stuck at in your life or your business, the Inner Circle Audios, the events, and whatever study you do on, your, on the side of your personal study. Hmm. Next thing I wanted to touch on is how can this process, how can you, how can you start this process and experience your own transformation? The events. The Inner Circle Audios. I listen to those every single day. You, you watch videos on the internet. If you notice, go on Google+, go on Facebook, go in those communities. Watch the videos of the people within those companies. Watch their videos. They're all they're, they're similar, but not really. If you watch their videos, you, you'll notice a lot of similarities, but... There's not too many companies that will go online, make a video like this, and teach you how to do the same thing. So how do you actually start the process and experience your own transformation? Number one, start making videos. Get your, listen to those inner circle audios. Get your hands on those. Go to the next event if you missed this one. I will make $100,000 within the next 90 days. If that is beyond your level of belief, I'll share some of my belief with you. I'll share some of my transformation with you, some of my experiences with you. You see, when you transform, your goals become big. McDonald's, Ray Kroc, he had a transformation at some point in his life. That's why he has a burger stand on every corner in the globe right now. McDonald's. That's what you have to do in order to step up your business to the next level. If you're new, if you're, if you're net, into network marketing, if you're a real estate agent, a real estate broker, a soccer player, if you're in network marketing right now, if you're in a network marketing, if you're in an MLM company right now and you're watching this video, there's possibly three things that's going on right now. Two things. Well, two things. Either you're... You've been beat up by your current company, your ML, current MLM, or your sponsor went into the witness protection program and you haven't heard or seen from him, haven't seen a video, haven't got a phone call, haven't got so much as a text message from your sponsor ever since you joined that company. All that changes now. All that changes. Every single week I do this hangout. And the, the topic for this week has been transformation. Transformation has been the topic of this week. Get to the next event. You will have a transformation so huge that it will blow the socks off of your current business. And the beauty of this is, the beauty of the Inner Circle Audios is, it doesn't matter what business you're in doesn't matter what business opportunity you're in. doesn't matter what business you own. It doesn't matter. As sure as my hair is crazy and, I, I'm, and I'm on here just, I'm passionate about this business and what we do here. This is a freedom community, a freedom movement, and our product is not really our product. I could, 
I could go along down the line and share with you the blog, viral blogging system, the Inner Circle Audios, the, the, the Costa Rica, the 15K, the Masters, the Internet Traffic Formula. I can go look down the list of the products. But here's the beauty of our company. Our product is you. The people is our product. Speaking life into the people is our product. We live in a society, let me get closer. We live in a society that stomps out people's dreams. What do I mean by that? We are so busy working our jobs. Let me let me let me let me tell you something. Repetition. Repetition is the mother of all learning, right? True. Also, repetition is the mother of destruction. But what do I mean by that? You work a job every day. Now, I'm not saying quit your job yet. Don't quit your job until you can replace that income with your own business income. Okay, I said it. What was I saying? So, you're in your job doing the same thing every day. Someone else tells you what to do. Someone else gives you tasks and says, do this, do this, do this. Every, when, you're, when you're working a job, your dreams are set aside because you don't have time to dream anymore. You don't have time to, to, to dream or to, to follow your music career or whatever your career is, your, that you, your, your hobby on the side, because you're so busy working that we forget to dream again. We forget that we can do greater things. We forget that we can put down the phone and pick up a paycheck. We forget our dreams. We forget. This company teaches people how to dream again, how to have passion, passion again. If you have a, a passion to help people, this company would teach you exactly how to help people live out their dreams. The more people I help live their dreams, the more I'll be able to live my dream. The more I'll be able to accomplish my goal of $100,000 within the next 90 days, and I will do it with or without you. And I'm going to take along a few soldiers with me that are ready, that are ready to get started right now, that are ready to transform, that are ready to say, you know what? I know I'm working this job. But in three months, I will be quitting this job. I'll be making a hundred thousand dollars a month. I'll be I'll be buying my. I won't have to go into the store anymore and tell my kids no because I don't have the money to buy them what they want, and I don't have to walk, walk worry about seeing them cry and drying their tears because I don't have the money to buy what they wanted in the toy section at Walmart. That is what you will experience. When you have a transformation in your business, let me tell you something. I'll tell you something really quick. There's two kinds of people in this world right now. I don't know if you study the United States dollar. I don't know if you study what's going on in the world. There's two kinds of people. We already know the middle class is, is, is gone. There's no more middle class. There, there will be Soon there will be two kinds of people in this United States. Rich and poor. If you go to the grocery store, 28 minutes, I have two minutes left. If you go to the grocery store, if you haven't noticed when you buy something, everything seems to get more expensive. Well, it's not that things are getting more expensive. It's that the value of the United States dollar is dropping and soon it is going to go to zero. And that's when all the shit will hit the fan. Excuse my French. But that's what's going on. Research it. Research what's going on with gold and silver, the United States dollar. As a matter of fact, go on YouTube and look up um, The Hidden Secrets of Money by Mike Maloney. Check it out. Do some research. My name is Barry Solomon. Thank you for hanging out. It is time that you had your transformation. It is time that you learned how to stretch your mind and create a better future for not only you, because it's not about you. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. This thing that I'm involved with, that we are involved with, this community, is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. 
It's a passion. It's a it's a dream. It's a it's the largest Internet marketing community online right now. You have an opportunity to be a part of something big, something bigger than you, something bigger than the Internet, something bigger than your family, something bigger than your wildest dreams. Tap into it. Tap into it. Thanks for 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 thanks for um, tuning in this week. Thanks for all my followers. Thank you for everyone on my team. Have a great month. July. Make July one of your biggest months ever. Barry J. Solomon, signing off. I want to see you have your transformation. I want to meet you at the next event. See you soon.